channel. My name is Savannah Boda, better known as the Dallas Esthetician on Instagram. And today I'm gonna be doing a fire and ice facial on my employee, Tyler. So we're super excited. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like this video and leave us a comment and let us know what you wanna see more of. So a fire and ice facial is from the brand Ice Clinical. And what it does is it heats up the skin and then it cools it down. So this is a really good exfoliation. This is good for acne prone skin, aging skin, or just dull sluggish skin. First step of the facial is to apply the headband. So put this on his little head. So this is all the products that we use for the facial. So the first step is gonna be the Warming Honey Cleanser. This is my absolute favorite cleanser. I'm sure you guys have probably seen me talk about this a million times. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the Warming Honey Cleanser and we're gonna go in with a second cleanse to really make sure that we have everything off the skin. All right, so the second cleanse is the Cleansing Complex. I love this stuff. So this is really good for post-procedure skin as well. Sensitive skin, acne-prone skin. It's just a really good all-around cleanser. All right guys, so this is the fire part of the facial. This is the intensive resurfacing mask. So the key ingredients in this is niacinamide, retinol, and pumpkin extract. So this gets pretty tingly. It's only gonna stay on the skin for about five minutes. So I like to warm this up on my glove first to activate it. And we wanna apply it with a pretty thin layer because we wanna be able to see the skin's reaction. So what I'm looking for is erythema, which is redness of the skin tissue. So now I'm going in for the removal. And you wanna do this with not too much pressure so that you don't push that peel in more. So I just went ahead and neutralized his peel with the cleanser that we already used. So what you do for that is you literally just put the cleanser on dry skin and then add a little bit of water until the client feels no tingles. So now he's prepped and ready for extraction. So we're gonna get a little bit out of his nose and see if he has any little goodies for me to pop. Okay, so now we're gonna do the ice part of the facial. I just finished up with my extraction, so this is a very cooling mask. So I'm gonna get that all applied and then we're gonna use some ice gloves to make it even better. Does that not feel amazing? Mm -hmm. I freaking love this stuff. So this is the cooling down part of the facial. So this is gonna help tighten the skin, reduce any redness from the extractions, calm the skin. So these are cryo gloves, and these are amazing for cooling down the skin and just giving your client that extra special oomph, you know? Just making them feel really cared for, and they feel amazing, right Tai Tai? Mm -hmm. So this is one of my favorite facials to perform because the results from it are absolutely amazing. All right, so I'm gonna be using Pro Heal on Tai Tai. This is an amazing antioxidant that also has vitamin A. So I do about four drops all over the whole face and then I just lightly work that into the skin. So now we're gonna be using Hydrocool. This is a hyaluronic acid and I use about two pumps of that. Okay, so since it's nighttime, we're gonna be using a moisturizer. This is the Reparative Moisture Emulsion. I love this cream so much. It's just so silky, velvety, lightweight, but deeply hydrating. And it provides such a beautiful glow to the skin. Not too greasy, not too matte. It truly is game changing. So we are all completed with the Fire and Ice Facial. So now you can see that his skin is not dull anymore. It is super glowy, it is hydrated. This is an amazing facial that you can do once a month. And again, it is pregnancy safe, safe for breastfeeding. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more in-depth facial videos of me explaining the entire process, make sure you give us a subscribe and a thumbs up and let us know in the comments what you wanna see next.